war hero, statesman, writer. That's the complicated character we know as Peter O'Ree. On March 12, 1744, in the rural district of Georgetown, one of South Carolina's founding fathers was born. Peter Ory, who is of French Huguenot descent, grew up learning to read and write at the Winya Indigo Society School near his home. He had a hard life growing up in many ways, but I think that served him well. Ory was a, a captain in the uh, famous 2nd Regiment at that great battle at Fort Sullivan, now called Fort Moultrie, where we defeated that British fleet in the early summer of 1776. Things remained quiet in South Carolina until British forces landed in the spring of 1780, forcing over 6,000 Patriot soldiers to surrender. Because Ory had been released from his command, he and famed revolutionary war hero Francis Marion were not part of the surrender. Marion, Ory, and a handful of militia fighters took to the swamps, stalling and ambushing British forces whenever they could, despite meager supplies and weaponry. They were good at the attack, and then retreat, and then ambush. That hard life that these people grew up with, like Ulrey in South Carolina, paid huge dividends in the American Revolution. So if you look at a map, you see Ulrey County, and you see Marion County. Just like the Revolution, Francis Marion, the great leader in South Carolina, his right-hand man, Peter Ulrey, Marion and Ulrey, 